ኤናይስቲልኝ ክብራን ተመልካቾቻችን ባለፈው ሳምንት እንደገለጽንላችሁ ቀዳሜ ጁን 16 2012 ከጠዋቱ 11 ሰዓት እስከ ከሰዓቱ 3 ሰዓት ነፃ የሆነ የሂፒታይተስ ቢ ምርመራ ተዘጋጅቶላችኋል ቦታው በኢትዮጵያ ኮሚኒቲ ነው እንግዲህ እንደምናውቀው የሂፒታይተስ ቢ ድምጹን ያጠፋ ከኤድ ሲልክ በ100% ተላላፊ የሆነ የጉበት በሽታ ነው ስለዚህ ከዚህ ገዳይ በሽታ ደግሞ ራስን መጠበቅ የሚቻለው በመከተብ ወይም ደግሞ ምርመራ በማድረግ ብቻ ነው ለዚህ ዝግጅት ስፖንሰሮች ወይም ስፖንሰር ያረጉት እነዚህ ድርጅቶች ናቸው MMRTI የኢትዮጵያ ኮሚኒቲ ሄፒታይተስ ቢ ኮአሊሽን ኦፍ ዋሽንግተን ሴንተር ፎር ሆሊስቲክ ሰርቪሴስ ሄፕ ኤጁኬሽን እና ICHS ናቸው ስለዚህ እንደገና ይሄ ፕሮግራም እንዳመልጣችሁ ነፃ የሆነ የሄፒታይተስ ቢ ምርመራ ነው ከዛ ደግሞ ውጤት አይተን ነፃ የሆነ ቫክሲንም ወይም ደግሞ ክትባትም እናደርጋለን ግን መጀመሪያ ጁን 16 እንዲገኙ በክብር እንጋብዛችኋለን ጥያቄ ካላችሁ ወይም ደግሞ አስቀድማችሁ መመዝገብ ከፈለጋችሁ በ4 25 6 1 5 4 7 9 2 ይደውልልን በደስታ እንቀበላችኋለን ስላዳመጣችሁኝ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ በሚቀጥለው ፕሮግራም እስከምንገናኝ የጤና ፕሮግራም አቅራቢያችሁ ብለይነኝ መልካም ቆይታ Hello, my name is Kim Wen. I am the program manager for the Hepatitis B Coalition of Washington. We are a program of within reach and today I'd like to share with you some of the hepatitis B work that we have been uh, pursuing with Multimedia Resources Training and Institute and International Community Health Services. We've been doing this work with the East African community for about two and a half years doing providing hepatitis B health education and today we are wanting to present a hepatitis B 101 training about what the disease is and encourage you to get involved in this work. So this will, this is a basic training on what the disease is, um, how to prevent um, with the transmission and how to take care of yourself and your family. So hepatitis B is a disease that infects the liver. The liver is a very important organ in your body. It is on the right side of your body behind your rib cage. It protects, um, it is protected by the rib cage because it's a very important organ. It cleans the waste and uh, blood from your body. So uh, make sure that you take very good care of your liver. Hepatitis, the word itself, actually means inflammation of the liver. Um, so, hepa, hepa means um, liver and titus, itis means inflammation. And you may know that there are different versions of hepatitis. There's hepatitis A, B, and C. And they all affect the liver. Um, but how you get each of the virus is a little different. Today, we are going to concentrate on hepatitis B and we will tell you why it's such an important issue. Um, hepatitis B is a virus that spreads primarily um, from the mother who has the virus to her unborn baby during the childbirth process. Um, hepatitis B is also spread through sharing of infected needles um, or other household items that have the virus living on it um, that has not been um, cleaned or disinfected. Um, if you practice any activities in your daily life that um, can encourage, that can share blood we encourage you to um, think about those activities and um, how you can avoid transmitting the virus to one other person. So for example, if you use acupuncture needles, we encourage that you have your own needles and do not share needles. It's important to know that hepatitis B is not spread um, through from casual contact. So 
you can hug and kiss and hold hands with someone, be around someone who has hepatitis B. There are um, two types of hepatitis B. There is the acute and there is chronic. And acute means that you have, hep you, you have hepatitis B for less than six months. Chronic means you have hepatitis B for longer than six months, and it means you have the virus for life. And that's what we are concerned about. We're trying to prevent chronic hepatitis B. We care about hepatitis B because if it's left undetected and untreated, it can lead to liver cancer. About 25% of the cases do lead um, to liver cancer. What we want to do, though, is prevent that. Chronic hepatitis B is a silent killer, meaning that oftentimes symptoms do not appear. And so you can feel very well and you can feel healthy, but still have the virus living inside you and it unintentionally be passing it on to those around you. It's important to note that there is no cure for hepatitis B. There are vaccines to prevent it and effective treatments, but there is no cure for the virus. If people do show symptoms, some of their symptoms are very much like getting sick or having the flu, but other symptoms include yellowing of the eyes and skin called jaundice. Um, and pain on the right side because that's where your liver is. Um, and because your liver is not functioning because the virus is infecting it, your body is not able to, to get rid of the waste. So you can have bad breath, you can have nausea and vomit and brown urine. When we look at the world, hepatitis B is a very serious issue. Um, the countries in the darkest color means that there is between 8 to 10 percent prevalence of hepatitis B. What we are concerned about is even though in the U.S. it doesn't look like hepatitis B is a serious issue, because there are a lot of people moving into the U.S. and living here, we are concerned about those who are coming from the countries that are in the darkest color where they may have contracted the virus and coming to the U.S. Um, and not know that they have the virus. So we want to raise awareness with those communities. In Washington state, there is um, about 28, close to 30,000 now people, um, Washingtonians who have chronic hepatitis B. Um, it's very preventable. So there is no need for 30,000 Washingtonians to have chronic hepatitis B. Uh, and as you can imagine, most of the cases are in King County, Seattle, King County. Worldwide, um, hepatitis B um, is one of the top 10 causes of death. And is, it's similar to HIV um, in a lot of ways, but one way that it's different is that the chronic hepatitis B virus is 100 times more powerful than the HIV virus. Um, here in the U.S. It causes about between 4,000 to 5,500 deaths a year, and that's what we want to prevent. Um, the best way to protect yourself is um, to know about your status um, is to get tested and to get vaccinated to protect yourself and your family. The only way to get tested is through a blood draw. So you would have to go to a doctor or clinic and get your blood drawn specifically for hepatitis B. Um, it's important to know that not every, there is not a test, a blood test that tests for every um, disease or every health issue. And it's also important to know that hepatitis B is not regularly tested at your annual exam. So when you go to your annual exam to, uh, and see your doctor, make sure you talk to him or her about uh, whether or not you've been tested and protected against hepatitis B. Um, some people will show that they don't have the virus, but they also don't have protection. So protection means getting vaccinated. And it's a three-shot series, so you'll get the vaccine um, today. In one month, you, you will return for the second vaccine, and in six months, you will return for the third um, vaccine. It's a very effective vaccine. It has been around for, for decades and has been proven very safe. Um, and make sure that you finish all three shots to be protected. 
Again, other ways to protect and prevent from getting hepatitis B is getting vaccination, um, having your child vaccinated uh, when your baby is born, um, practicing protected uh, sex, not sharing needles or infected household items, but more importantly, to know your status. And again, that means to go get tested, go talk to your doctor or go to a clinic. For those people who are tested positive or who have chronic hepatitis B, it's okay to, it, you can treat and you can manage the disease. Um, it's like diabetes. As, as long as you know you have it, you can manage and treat it. Talk to your doctor about a treatment plan. Um, he may have you do some more blood tests. He may have you do some ultrasounds. He may have you take some pills or give you injection um, shots. It all depends on each individual person. So if you are diagnosed with hepatitis B, it does not mean you will immediately get on treatment. Every person is different. Um, and make sure you talk to your family and friends and make sure that they are taken care of as well. Um, again, if you first see your doctor and then your doctor may be able to refer you to a specialist um, if needed. So we just want to end today with sharing some resources for more information about hepatitis B, where you can get tested, um, more detailed information, please feel free to visit these um, sites. And um, if you have any questions, um, there is contact information at all of these links to provide um, additional information. Thank you for watching.